If you've been following the channel, you'd know that recently I went to Korea and Japan and I had a really good time. But I also came across Creative Block from the very start of the trip and I sort of figured it out by the end of it. So I wanted to sort of discuss this from a photographer's perspective. Keep in mind that all of these solutions are applicable to any kind of artist. In this video, we're going to be discussing a few ways to get over this creative block through analyzing different artists' work, finding different ways of inspiration, and trying out some new gear. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is probably the most fun way to sort of tackle a creative block, and that is by trying new gear. Everybody loves new gear, whether that be different brushes, a new microphone, or in my case, a new lens. So what I did for my trip was I purchased this. It's a Nikon F2 with a 28 millimeter lens. I thought using the 28 millimeter focal length would be a little bit different and it would sort of trigger some kind of creativity within me. And um, yeah, this is one great way to do it. Firstly, new gear feels great. So obviously it's gonna be a lot of fun to use, probably inspire you to go out and actually try things. But using new gear does bring along a set of challenges. found it a little difficult to create compositions, framing subjects, and also just gauging how far everything is from just with my eyes. Now getting over this kind of challenge, you need trial and error, and this is just through repetition of use. But to sort of speed up the process, you can definitely find inspiration um, from different sources and sort of figure out what works for other people and then pull that to use it for yourself. Inspiration comes in so many different forms, but I guess the most accessible one is through social media, such as Instagram or Pinterest. I think social media can also be a double-edged sword because the reality is the things you're viewing on there is curated for the algorithm. Now, this may be in the 4-5 ratio that Instagram really promotes for their pictures and stuff. So on my trip, I was definitely looking through Instagram and stuff for 28 millimeter photography uh, images and just seeing how other people shoot with that kind of focal length. But what I found helped most was something I discovered in Korea. Thankfully, this was early on in my trip. I went into a bookshop and I actually found a beautiful photo book. Um, that's up here. This book here is called Solitudes of Human Places by John Won Re. Instantly, I was hooked by just how this book looks, this blue color, it's just so beautiful. And this is a Korean artist who shoots a lot of wider angled scenes. Now, looking through the book, I recognized instantly that this is all shot on a wider angled lens. I think prints and physical copies of artwork, such as photo books, are such a great source of inspiration because you get to sit there, you get to stare at it and just analyze what's going on and what makes this work. Now getting this photo book was just like the best timing for me because I was honestly really confused. I didn't know how to frame things and just by looking at this I can sort of see how he uses streets and leading lines and how he implements people into his compositions and I started to understand how 28mm really works. wider angle lens allows you to capture more environment so that's kind of the whole point creating a balance with the scene in front of you incorporating people and the buildings surrounding and this just really opened my mind a lot more to what was to come with my career and Japan now by the end of my trip I definitely overcame this creative barrier 
that I was feeling from using this 28 millimeter lens. But since then, it has been quite a few months. Not Australia anymore, mate. It's freaking cold. <laughs> This sort of feeling of creative burnout is something that keeps creeping back. I think it's just how your brain works. You go through periods where you're very motivated and then you have periods when you're very not motivated. And I was reading this book recently by Haruki Murakami. Um, it's what I talk about when I talk about running. And in this book, he sort of just talks about his personal life and how running has helped him uh, keep his creativity alive throughout all of these years of writing novels. My point here is just do other things than just your creative outlet. Obsessing over your art form, especially when you're in a creative rut, isn't really going to help you. So do other things. Go for a walk, go for a run. In this case, he runs a lot and he finds that by running, it frees his mind off writing novels and by freeing his mind it actually sparks new ideas and other things that you might not have think about before. I think physical health is also very important for your creativity. Um, just keeping physically fit, eating the right food, drinking enough water, this all sort of in turn helps keep your brain healthy and honestly that's what you need if you want to continue doing your art form and just keep working. Anyways, I think I've rambled on enough for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my insights on this topic. If you have anything to add, please leave it in the comments down below. Uh, you know, like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're gonna hit 5k subs soon, so that's very exciting. Anyways, thank you. Peace.